Hello everybody, thank you for checking out my review for this King Camp Folding Camp Cot. Uh, this is one of several products that I purchased from King Camp. Those of you who follow me, um, probably getting a little bit tired of me reviewing King Camp products, but the reason why is because I'm actually upgrading all of my uh, camp equipment after 20 something years and have been very, very pleased with the King Camp products and decided to give them another try with this Folding Camp Cot. Um, I set out this just normal camp chair. This is like a typical folding camp chair, that pink one in front. Just so you can see the size um, compared to a normal camp chair, you can see that the cot actually really doesn't fold down all that much bigger than the, the, uh, the chair itself. So it's really great because I'm used to those cots that you know that fold in half and they have the metal bars and they fold in half and they take a ton of space in your garage and a ton of space in your car when you're trying to, to transport them. Um, so this was actually a pretty uh, Pretty big surprise actually when it came out of the box that this was all it was. Um, so let's get this out of the way and show you the King Camp. All right, so starting as I always do, starting with the bag itself. It's a very nice bag, it's a drawstring bag. You've got your cinch right there. Um, there's not really much to say about it. It's, it's, a, it's a sturdy bag, it has great straps right there. Um, and one of the things that I do like about it is the straps are actually double sewn. So if you can see that, there it is. So if you can see that, it's sewn on both sides uh, to help it prevent from actually just unraveling. So King Camp pays a lot of attention to detail, and that's what I've really liked about their products. And I'll show you something else here in a second with the cot. So to get it out, obviously, you just loosen up your strap, slide the cot out. And before I set it up, I want to show you one more thing that I just think is really great um, because, again, King Camp pays attention to their details. So uh, it has the strap right here to, un to undo it, to hold it in place. That's really not what I was going to show you, although that is cool. Uh, what I wanted to show you were, were these little straps right here that go across to the, some of the support legs. Let's see if I can make sure that that's in there. All right, so these straps here, really cool extra feature. They have the, the elastic, but the straps are screwed in place here, so it's not gonna slide or come off. But it ends up keeping the, these legs on both sides, this side and this side, um, from bowing out when you sit on it, which means that all the pressure from the person sitting on the cot goes straight down to the pads of the feet, which will help to prevent the, the legs from bending. So really cool, just extra, little durability um, feature that they put in. So there's a couple ways to set this up. I personally found tipping it upside down like this is easy because these are the hinge points right there, right there. So all you wanna do is just make sure those hinge points set down flat. And you can obviously do this from the other side, but I really wanna just show you that that's, that's how it is. So you just push down so the, those hinge points kind of snap into place and you're done. And that's it. Pretty, pretty super easy um, setup as well as takedown. I'm going to take this off now so we can show you around. This is the, the cot. One thing that I thought was really cool is it actually elevates your head a little bit. You can see not a lot, but I don't take a really big pillow with me camping. And so this being elevated actually helped me to be able to sleep on my side, which was awesome because I don't normally get to do that in a camp or in a cot. So this is the support beam. Um, I was a little worried about the comfort of it because it looks from the pictures like these support beams go down the middle, but they don't. You can see underneath, there's nothing in the middle, which makes it almost like a hammock. It's obviously not, it doesn't sag as much as a hammock, so, and doesn't swing, but there's, no, there's nothing underneath to create a pressure point, not under the head or the feet. Um, the other thing that I really like is it's longer than my other cots because I'm kind of a taller guy. Um, I'm about 6'1", and what I would run into is my feet would hang off the edge, which wouldn't be a big deal, except um, the, other the other style of cots has a big metal bar running right here, so then my foot would be on that metal bar all night, not super comfortable. You can see there's nothing under here, so if you're taller than 6'2", and you happen to hang off a little bit, which you're probably used to if you're taller than 6'2", it's not uncomfortable. It says it can support 220 pounds. Um, honestly, I, I'm 100% positive it can support more than that. I think they're just trying to, to uh, 
give a, give a conservative estimate because I'm about 215 and I can fit on it just fine. Nothing bows, nothing creaks, and it works great. So all in all, I think that King Camp knocked this one out of the park again. Very, very pleased with it. And I give this a solid five stars.